I always get such bad heat rashes and I never knew how to take care of it. Like, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I shower like three, four times a day. You guys, I found something that would prevent a freaking heat rash. Um, I have never gotten so many swipe ups on my Instagram before. I'm insulted that you guys wanted these jeans more than anything I've ever shared. What's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is abby if you guys are new here thank you so much for joining me today i am doing a favorites video this is my first time ever doing it but i got this idea from queen whitney because i literally love watching those i just find things that i didn't know i needed and i just thought i'd do a summer's favorites video okay so i have a handful literally about 10 to discuss so I hope I can fit it on this video or else I'll be doing a part two. Starting off with food because I love food. You guys, Marissa and Libby can vouch for me. I have been eating this two bags a day every single day. I am not sponsored by Quest whatsoever, but this is protein chips. And it's so good. Like, let me know why these protein chips are really good. There is 19 grams of protein. So in two bags, I had, what is that, 38? Yeah, 38 grams of protein. Like, it's so big. And surprisingly, not a lot of carbs. I don't know if you guys are tracking your macros. So it's 90 grams of protein, 5 grams of carbs, and 4.5 grams of fat. Not hating it. I only got this because I just needed to incorporate more protein into my diet. But why is this so good like especially this flavor i got the ranch dressing flavor as well and that's really good too if you're a ranch person you like that but this kind of tastes like a doritos like the chili doritos version it's just and it's so soft and crumbles so easily not me eating this like during my youtube video um mm. like look how detailed this chip is Anyways, so this, my number one favorite snack right now at the moment, literally. Eating and filming is definitely not a good idea. Like, I'm gonna put this down. Oh, by the way, this is from Amazon. I will link this down below. It comes in a box of 12, I think, maybe 24. And I'm, I think I only have like five left. Since we're on to the food topic, I'm gonna go into Beam. So this one, I am sponsored by it. I only promote things that I like. Beam's Pink Lemonade Super Grease, why is this so good? I will say it is kind of grainy. Once it's mixed in, it's definitely like thick, but it's so freaking good. Like all their flavors are spot on. When they say Pink Lemonade, there really is a Pink Lemonade aftertaste. And when they first were like, oh, we're gonna send you some Pink Lemonade Greens, I was kind of skeptical because all my greens have always been like earthy or like, very like fruity kind of thing but this is so good i have like two to three scoops a day which i need to slow down because it is currently sold out but i know they're gonna be coming back i'm sorry i'm making i'm putting this in the favorites video i actually only found that yesterday that they were sold out but i'm gonna be taking my time with this and having more earthy flavored which is a citrus matcha so if you are into more earthy flavor rather than like a sweeter version of the greens then i go for the citrus matcha i'm sorry i'm talking about this right now when it's sold out but i know for a fact that they're gonna be restocking this and when they do i'm gonna be getting like three or four tubs and the benefits of greens i'll put up here like one it reduces inflammation it's good for digestion it's good for your gut it's just a lot of benefits of drinking greens of course like it's better to have vegetables as your like green source but you know when I just want something refreshing and I don't want like soda or something this is my go-to I'm not really a soda person but yeah this my favorite I don't know should I go on to pre-workout now that I'm on to beam I think I will okay so guys when I say their flavors are spot-on it really is spot-on the next thing that I guess I will talk about is their pre-workout and sour blue gummies flavor their sour gummies blue flavor again is like a hundred percent spot-on it tastes exactly like sour blue gummies and that's my favorite out of all the sour gummies not a strawberry fan not a watermelon fan none of that blue gummies are like my favorite and they need to be sour this absolutely 
my favorite pre-workout ever. I like to mix this in water because that's like when the flavoring is best. I don't like to dry scoop with this because I feel like it kind of kills the flavor. Like you don't actually get the full taste of the flavor as you would when you mix with water. But to dry scoop, <laughs> I like to have it in the rainbow candy flavor, which this actually tastes like yellow and red Skittles combine and this when it's like taken dry scoop I know there's like a lot of controversy on dry scooping if you are a dry scooper this is like the best tasting for dry scoop but this one does kind of have an aftertaste if you dry scoop but when mixed with water mm, 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 so freaking good but enough with food and supplements I just need to bring these two up especially the sour blue gummies because it just blew my mind I literally was like what in the frick my Instagram people know this by the way if you don't follow me on Instagram you should it's abbyhef.fit I put fitness content out there anyways um my Instagram people might remember from like a year and a half ago maybe two years ago now COVID kind of like threw my timing off I got, I always get such bad heat rashes, like such bad heat rash every single time I'm at a tropical vacation or even like every single summertime. I, I love going to the pool, but I get such bad heat rash and I never knew how to take care of it. Like, I don't know what I was doing wrong. I shower like three, four times a day. Like, I don't understand. My heart wants to be out in the sun, but my skin just like, no, you can't go there. This picture is graphic. So if you don't want to see it, skip for the next 30 seconds. Yeah, this photo right here, it was bad. This was in Mexico. I literally looked like I had chicken pox. I couldn't go out for the last like two days of my trip because it got so bad. Don't know like what was going on. Never knew how to prevent it. You guys, I found something that would prevent a freaking heat rash this whole summer. I haven't had a single heat rash. This was a lifesaver. Like literally this cream saved my life. I was so worried because I went, to, I was like out by the pool a week before I went to Greece and I was starting to get a heat rash. And immediately I had to just stay indoors for the next four days. And I was getting super nervous telling Phil because I didn't want to ruin the Greece trip for Libby not being able to go outside if I got a heat rash. And then I bought this at the last minute. It's from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I tried it. I saw reviews of people saying it worked for some of them, worked, it didn't work for some of them. And when I tried it, oh my God, I put it on right before I go out in the sun, like first thing in the morning. And then I put sunscreen on top. It works like magic. Didn't get a single heat rash this entire summer. I don't know what's in this, but it's it's called Wonder Bomb. It really is a Wonder Bomb. I don't know. It's some magic, but I have used so much of it. I've had it for the entirety of summer, so since May until now, which is August. And I've used only about half of it. Like there's still plenty in here. It does kind of have a scent. It's not scentless. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either. It actually smells like exactly what this says, like tea tree oil, eucalyptus oil, and lavender oil. It kind of like has um like almost like a minty smell. Some people on Amazon just say it smells bad. I personally don't mind the smell, but anything to keep the heat rash away, I was willing to try. And this really freaking did the trick. Not break. Okay, next thing I'm gonna go into is makeup. I'm not a huge makeup person. I'm not wearing makeup other than lashes right now. But every once in a while, I like to get dressed up, put on a nice dress, get my hair and makeup done. Um, I always struggle to find the correct makeup for my skin tone. Really hard for me to find foundation that blends in with my face perfectly. I've tried Rare Beauty, even though I love their blush, their foundation kind of gives me like a yellow green tone, almost kind of makes me look sick. I absolutely did not vibe with it. Again, I'm not a makeup person, so I know this has been around for a while, but I just refuse to buy makeup. I was like, I still have the Armani one at home, not gonna spend more, but during the summer I got tanner, and I was like, I need to not look like a ghost <laughs> when I put on my foundation when I go out for a date night. So I went to Sephora and just tried it. Fendi Beauties. Tinted Moisturizer. This, I got this shade in Eavesdrop, which is a shade 14. This shade is pretty dark. Um, I feel like I look brighter over camera than I do in person. I'm slightly tanner in person. It blends in so well. If you're Asian and have been struggling to find a foundation or a tinted moisturizer that like blends in with your face super well, I would try Fendi Beauty. And it was only like $30. I use tinted moisturizers rather than foundation just because foundation feels heavy on my skin. And again, I don't wear makeup a lot. So 
I don't like to feel cakey. Rihanna, you did great with this. I'm like a huge fan. Along the side of foundation and tinted moisturizer, I actually got a contouring stick and I really love it. Again, like it's perfect for my skin tone. I got this one in the truffle. It's the match stick. Perfect. Also, it's magnetic. I thought that was cool because I got it in two different shades, but this is like my shade perfectly. Do you like this outfit? Because I do. So this is from Vitality X Balance. They still have this in a lot of sizes. I think it's sold out in my size currently, but put on the Notify Me one available because that's what I did and I was able to snatch this. I have this set in every single color. Um, is it excessive? Yeah, possibly. But I freaking love it. I wear this all- I think I actually wore this in blue in my Toluca try-on haul. How embarrassing, Abby. God, do you wear anything else other than sweats? But this is so comfy and super cute, you guys. It is an oversized look, so I wouldn't size up at all. I'm wearing a size extra small in both top and bottom. I actually sized up in the blue for this sweatshirt, and it was quite big in the waist area. So I stick to your regular size, but it's just so comfortable. It's like the perfect at-home outfit because my house is a little bit chilly. I literally live in this. Yeah, it's a problem, clearly, since I wore two videos in a row embarrassing and now that i'm talking about this i'm actually going to talk about another sweatshirt sweatpants brand happy camper i'm not sponsored by them whatsoever but i just love their sweatpants and sweatshirt like combo and then their bra which is also in the same sweatshirt material it's just such a cute look you guys my favorite is the yellow mm, perfect summer color i think they're currently out of stock i'll let you guys know i'll pop it up on the screen but they do come back and stop pretty often. So just keep your eye out on it because that's super comfy and super cute. Now talking about clothes, I'm gonna talk about regular clothes. Um, I have never gotten so many swipe ups on my Instagram before. I'm insulted that you guys wanted these jeans more than anything I've ever shared. But these are from Abercrombie. Um, yeah, I'll show you guys with it tried on. I wear a 26 L. I'm 5'6 for reference if you guys are new, but it's just like a, such a cute straight jeans look I don't know. It's just also does something to the booty like hello It just kind of makes me look like I have a bubble butt. Absolutely love it. It's just such a cute casual look for Wherever the frick I'm going my friend Libby She's the one who introduced me to these and I immediately snatched them when they came back in stock again Even though they might be sold out right now. They do come back in stock pretty frequently So I would just keep the notification on and keep checking on it because that's how I was able to snag these So if I was to go for my perfect size for my waist It would have been a 25 L just because I've got bigger thighs um, than my waist But I got a 26 L so it's quite big which takes me to my next thing that I want to talk about is the Amazon buttons. You guys see this? This is a faux button. This is a button that it came with. <laughs> and then this is the Amazon button that I attached. And basically it makes the waistband tighter. And I love it that I don't have to wear a freaking belt. I'll show you guys how to put it on up close. So basically when I saw that, I was like, is it gonna stab me? Because the back of it is a nail and then it kind of pushes in. It's kind of like how earrings work, you know, those stuff. But once it's on, it's secured on. It does not move. That thing is on tight. But it comes in this pack, yes. Yes, this is like the best thing that was ever created. I don't know who made it freaking love it because I first of all I don't have to get my jeans tailored now because they're expensive to get tailored that's what I used to have to do is I'd size up in the shorts and the jeans to make sure that they fit my legs but then they would be too big on the waist so I'd have to bring them in to a tailor and then get them fixed but no more because these Amazon buttons are freaking magic I love it again Libby was the one to recommend it to me I'm gonna link this all down below Last thing I want to talk about are shoes. So, these are, it's kind of embarrassing to hold up dirty shoes, but I'm being realistic here. I don't have a brand new pair of APLs to show you guys because they're expensive. They are very pricey, I'm not even gonna lie to you. They're like well over $200, but they're the comfiest things I've ever worn. APLs are what I wear when I lift. I'm gonna put these down now because you know they're dirty, but, 
I've tried so many different shoe brands, um, nothing against them. I love Nikes. I do love Nikes Air Max 270s for when I'm doing cardio, when I'm doing HIIT, um, for when I'm doing upper body days. But for when I do lower body, I was a diehard Converse person until one of my friends, Megan, she was like, try APL, they're super comfortable. But I was like, that's so pricey. Like, I just can't spend that much. I saved some money and Spurgeon tried. It is really good. So the top of it, I guess I'll pick it up again. This part is knitted. So it's like stretchy and I've got wide feet. It's embarrassing, but I do. I've got wide feet, but it stretches out. Um, the ties are in here in the inside. So the shoelace ties in that way. It's not too loose to the point where you feel like you can't run in them. You definitely could, but it doesn't have enough support. Here, so like I just personally wouldn't run in these um when I squat and deadlift I do take these off though just because there is like still some cushioning here and I'd personally rather just be barefoot but my go-to lifting shoes are these I wish they would sponsor me and send these to me for free but super comfortable I did try lane 8s because you know I'm all about supporting my friends and their coats but again, I've got wide feet and it just didn't <laughs> fit me right personally. So if you're looking for some comfy lifting shoes, APLs, I recommend 100%, like super comfy. Okay, I said the last thing I was gonna talk about were my shoes, but I totally forgot about these two because I had it on my pile, but then needed it for my skincare this morning. Oh, not me dropping them. Um, so I used to have, I don't know what they're called. When I put up a question poll, someone mentioned, like had a name for it. But the side of my face, I used to have like these white bumps. It wasn't like pimples, but it was like almost clogged pores. No matter what I did, ever since in high school, I've had them. And I swear I was like, is it gonna turn into pimples? It never did, it was just always like just white clog just sitting there. This, I saw the skincare on TikTok out of all places. I swear TikTok is where people should go for advertisement because it convinces me to buy stuff. Um, Again, both from Amazon. We'll link it down below. I got this exfoliate from Paula Choice. And then the Hyalonic, Hyal, Hydrolonic, Hyalonic Acid um, from Ordinary. These two products really changed my skin. Those bumps are like 95% gone, if not completely gone. I'll probably do a whole skincare routine on here for fun one of, the, one of these days. But I do my face wash, exfoliate with this and the cotton swab, and then put these drops on my face and then moisturize. It's like magic, gone. It just works so perfectly for me. But again, like skincare is such a sensitive topic because everyone has different types of skin. I've always had sensitive skin, but I never had bad breakouts. But those clogged pores, I just couldn't get rid of them for whatever reason. Um, and these two really did help me personally. Anyways, you guys, I like filmed 12 things. That's a lot of stuff to talk about. And I think this is the quickest video that I've ever filmed in my life. <laughs> I don't know if I did a great job with a favorites video. This is my first one, but I really enjoy filming this. If you guys are new here again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like the video, please don't forget to like it and subscribe for more. And I will be back next time. Bye guys!